finally over, you know I gotta make another video about King Baby Kendall. I have a lot of thoughts about the finale, and if you don't even watch Succession, it doesn't matter because this is a learning opportunity about red flags or just things to pay attention to because these King Babies are all alike. They're all alike. They're all alike. I'm gonna show you a quick clip and then we'll get into it. Logic! Where's the logic? Where's your logic? I just don't think you'd be good at it. Here we go. Tears. I feel like if I don't get to do this, I, I, I feel like that's it. Like I might, I might, like I, I might die. Look at her eye roll. Can you just vote? Please. Look. Please. Shiv's eye roll in that scene. Ah. Because she knows exactly what he's doing. Because this is what every king baby does. They try different tactics. Aggression. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Uh, they're just like children. Children are so real. I don't, it, this is an insult to children, okay? King babies are, it's an insult to baby. But human beings are very perceptive, okay? And these king babies who are abusive, they're so, they may not be smart, but they, they're very smart in terms of like being predator. He was like, okay, bullying didn't work. Now, logic. You're not logical because men are just so logical. Yeah, eh, they're so logical they have no humanity so, so often. Anyway, he knew that wasn't working, so then he was like... Bleh. But what he's doing is what so many abusers do. Kendall may not be technically abusive, but he did, like, unalive a kid. Right after that little scene I showed, he, like, tossed her around. He was very physically violent with Roman. As I showed in the video this comment is attached to, thank you for this comment, by the way. He thinks he's the protector. He's a big, big, big manly protector, just like Walter White and Grizzly Man and all his other king baby. But what he's doing in that scene is he is threatening schmooicide. He's saying it without saying it. Now, it may sound like I am a heartless bitch. I'm not. I love men. If you've seen any of my writing, I want y'all to heal. I do. Also, I, I don't talk about this often, but I lost my cousin to schmooicide. He never once talked about it. He never once threatened it to any of us because men who are going to actually do it don't usually talk about it. Men who talk about it are trying to manipulate you. Now, not always, okay? Maybe, but I'm telling you, my abusive ex threatened, when I tried to break up with him, he threatened to jump off a bridge. He was never going to jump off a bridge. But you know who did? My cousin.